looks like. Our daughter saved our life. Yes. What? Go back, Anaka. I am. Now you get me a sec. I open my eyes and look over to see Amanda holding the softball, staring at it in amazement. Because she saved her life. I caught the ball. You saved me! We are eternally grateful! I caught the grateful. ball! I caught the ball! You did it, Amanda! I faced my fears and defeated the softball. I can do anything. <laughs> it's a tender moment. I don't think anyone could else watching could really <laughs> understand. I'm proud of you, kiddo. The game ends and Craig, Craig's team are declared the victors. We sit patiently as the girls line up to shake hands. Great job, everyone. You can't <clears throat> take a drink in the middle of your <clears throat> narrating duties. Whatever. I'm going to just fucking narrate terribly. Craig, great work, man. Thanks, we've been working hard all season. It's great to see it paying off. I'm proud of all my girls. Speaking of which, have you met Briar and Hazel? Hello. Hey, killer playing out there. Mm. Yeah, you guys rule. Thank you. You guys are twins, huh? So which one of you is the evil one? <laughs> Hazel. Yeah, I, it's me. I can't deny that. <laughs> Good looking out. Okay. You guys ever pretend to be each other? I don't have a twin, but I think if I did, I'd be doing that constantly. Yeah, I take all of our math tests. And I usually throw rocks at stuff when people get mad. I tell them I'm Briar. What? <laughs> we will talk about this later. Atticus, bro, I just got a couple of more things to clean up, then we can hang. Sounds good. Just then, one of the moms jumps into the conversation. Not so fast. We have to celebrate our win, Craig. I'm taking the whole team to get pizza. Oh, God I'm damn it, Janet! Team. Nonsense. The girls won. What sort of celebration could we have without our fearless leader? She lays her hand on his shoulder and gives him goo-goo eyes. Man, this mom is laying it on thick. And man and I share a look. All right, all right. Is it cool if my bro comes along? Mom looks slightly put out, but covers it up with a smile. Of course! <sighs> it's just Where a are bro. Where we going? Thursday's Pizza? Thursday's what? Pizza? What? It's a real place. Thirsty's Pizza. Good lord. An endless stream of girls clad in softball gear pile out of a minivan into the local pizza buffet, which is actually called Thirsty's Pizza. Man and I trail behind them with Greg. Reminds me of all the awful pizza we put in our bodies back in the day. Remember how we used to just fold whole pies in half and then put taco fillings inside? Ew. Hell yeah. Mm. Ah, pizzacos. I could never forget. Ew. How did we survive college? Our bodies were younger back then. More elastic. More able to handle the toxic waste we put inside us. The good old days. <laughs> Kids run around playing arcade games and eating greasy food. A man and I jump on a couple of slices of mediocre pizza. Hey, give me a pizza that. No! Absolutely not! <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm strictly eating salad here. Thanks for addressing the issue, Amanda. Dad! A different mom walks up to us, talking to Craig as if we weren't even there. Craig, thank you so much for looking after our kids. My daughter tells me every day how great you are. Oh, I'm happy to look after them. Definitely helps that I have kids of my own. It's been so hard since Daniel left. I'm glad to know my children have a strong male role in their lives. Oh, it hurts! Right? A man and I look at each other again. Craig gets it from all angles, huh? Craig smiles sheepishly. Oh. Thank you so much, dude. Craig holds his fist up for a fist bump from the uh. mom what I think is a maneuver to lighten the conversation. He looks super uncomfortable. I should throw him a bone here. Create a device smoke screen Martha? I don't know what that means. What does that even mean? I don't know what that means. Tag team with Amanda. What you got? I give Amanda another knowing look and she hits me back with a knock. She understands. Amanda puts her hand to her stomach and looks at me with puppy dog eyes. Dad, I don't feel good. I think I ate too much pizza. Oh no, sweetie, you're not going to projectile vomit everywhere, are you? Yeah, I think I'm going to projectile vomit everywhere right now. The words projectile vomit and right now usually seem to get everyone to clear out, but Martha's not budging. Back it up, Martha. You're in the splash zone. I think I drank a lot of orange juice this morning. It's feeling pretty acidic. You'll be fine. Amanda shoots me a worried look. This con is going sideways. I should have known that a mom of all people would know a fake puke scam. Uh, well, I guess it went away. I'm fine now and nothing's wrong. She turns her back on me to talk to Craig. So I'm taking Hazel and Briar tonight to the, for the sleepover? Yep, they're pretty excited about it. You'll get them out of trouble, right? Keep them, whatever. Of course. We could always use a help, help watching everyone tonight if you're not busy. Damn, girl. Nice. <laughs> uh, it'll actually be nice to have a night to myself in River, but thanks for the invite. Hmm. Uh, Martha, you might want to grab your child. She's stuffing pizza into a coin slot. Martha angrily turns <laughs> her attention towards her daughter. Tiffany! Not another arcade machine, I swear! If we have to buy it! Martha storms off towards her kid. She seems nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the team is one big weird family. Takes all sorts, right? Tiffany, don't eat the tokens! <laughs> oh. Tiffany's a stellar hitter. Phew! 
I think I may have time to talk to Craig now. Man, you're a busy guy, huh? Nice. Only on days like today, I hope. Only on Dad! days that end with Y. Hey, girls. Dad, can you help us beat our record on DDR? We told Ariana's dad that you could destroy him on the dance mat. Please help. Hi. Girls, you know I don't have my jukes anymore. But, Dad... Craig looks at me like a hurt puppy. Oh. Sorry, dudes. Duty calls. I promise we'll catch up in a bit. It's all good, buddy. Craig runs off with, that his, with his daughters and I'm left alone with mine. Man, I was really hoping to hang out with Craig more today. But it seems like he's getting dragged in every direction. Definitely wasn't like this in college. I feel like we might be a third wheel here. There's worse places than, than an arcade to be left to your own devices. You're right. Want to drop some coin on pinball? You know it. Man and I pull up to a machine that's feeling pretty hot and get to work. I'm a little rusty, but the pinball wizard within me will never die. I pull out a <laughs> decent score and then challenge a man at the top line. And immediately she gets multi-ball. Looks like she takes after her father. You're pretty good. Ugh. Don't patronize me. Hey, I'm just trying to play a complete... I mean, it's just me. She's in her zen zone. <laughs> she fights valiantly, racking up points by the million. She's this close to beating my score, but I feel honored just being able to watch. You're friends with Craig, right? Janet from earlier walks up and leans on the pinball machine. Uh, yeah, we went to college together. Please don't lean on the, my thing. Huh? That's so interesting. So you know if he's, like, available? Oh, God. Oh, I honestly don't know if I could say. Seriously, you're gonna make it tilt. Because it just seems like so much work to watch after his kids. Don't you think it'd be great if he... Mm. Lady, I swear to God. Ah! All of a sudden, a buzzer sounds and the game is over. Janet made the pinball machine tilt. Hey. You stone harpy. Oh my god. Damn. What? I said I have to go over there now and put a pizza in my mouth so I don't say anything that'll hurt your feelings. Amanda. Nice. Bro. What's going on? Now's our chance. If we don't get out of here now, we're stuck for the rest of the night. I wrangle Amanda and say some quick goodbyes with Craig. We head out of the pizza place. Finally. Amanda promises to keep the couch warm for me and heads home. Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. You harpy. <laughs> Stone harpy. <laughs> Not at all, dude. It's good to finally get you on to myself for a second. River burps. Well, almost all of myself. She's just a baby. She doesn't know. Right. Hold up. R- Craig walks over to the trunk of his car, pulls out two gloves and a softball. Up for some catch? Nice. This might be less catch and more you throwing the ball and me running after it, but sure. We stand in the middle of the empty baseball diamond and start tossing the ball back and forth. I have a cooler in my car that we could grab, but there's only juice boxes in there. Man, fatherhood is strange. You're telling me. I can't believe I'm looking back on my keg stand Craig days and reminiscing about it. Those were some good times. I don't know anyone else who could pull off a rare horizontal keg stand. Oh. It was a feat of discipline, bro. Trust me. <laughs> I haven't properly hung out with Craig in so long, I don't even know where to begin. Mm. Where do we begin, Carmen? Ask about the business. So, you run a business now? Nice. Yep. We sell fitness gear. Imports and exports mostly, but we're coming up with our own line of athleisure wear soon. Uh, that's the thing. What? I odd and mostly use my sweatpants for watching TV and not, you know, sweating. Sounds like you'd make a killing. Mm. If you ever need athletic gear, I've got your back. You could sponsor me. I'll rep your athleisure brand while I mow my lawn. Oh. That is the glamorous lifestyle we're catering to. Yes. So softball coach the life you wanted Or was it the life that was thrust upon you oh. <laughs> I'll admit I was hesitant at first Briar and Hazel had so much energy We just had to get them into sports But no one was there to run the team The more I did the more I saw how much it meant to all the girls I'm worried there would be a riot if I quit I'd also be afraid of a bunch of tiny children with metal bats Yes oh. They're quick and they work as a team I've trained them too well <laughs> They'd take you down like a pack of velociraptors on a T-Rex Correct Exactly. I can't believe you're a father of three. Neither can I. You know me, I'm an indecisive person. You switched your major four times. That's average, dude. Yeah, I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life, but raising kids when Brian and Hazel were born, it all finally made sense. It was like all the time I had spent trying to figure things out to lead them. Couldn't be happier about it. I don't know. I don't think I've ever cared about anything as much as I care about them. I had the exact same feeling when Amanda was born. It's the best thing ever to happen to me. It could be the only thing that ever happened to me, and I would still be proud of the life I lived. It's nice out there. Here. Quiet. Must be good to get away with the softball moms for a bit, huh? Oh. Christ. Janet. Yeah, that was a lot. Are they always like that? Actually, this wasn't nearly as bad. Jesus. Yikes. Oh, no. I'm just not so interested. Well, what are you interested oh. in? Dudes. Oh. With teal with and quiet. beards. That hot, hot silence. <laughs> nice. My ultimate sexual fantasy is sleeping in on a Saturday. 
But more seriously, I just can't get back into dating right now. I couldn't even if I wanted to. There's no time. And I feel so uncomfortable trying to introduce a stranger into my girls' lives. They've already been through so much. I can't put them through that. Buddy, I hear you. So, the moms can hit on me all they want, but the girls are my top priority. Hit softballs, don't get hit on by moms. <laughs> Those kids love you. And add to that, the whole team loves you. I think you got this dad thing oh. down right. Thanks, bro. Mm -hmm. That means a lot coming from you. While I'm distracted, I miss the softball, and it hits me right on the head. Wow, that hurts. I mean, it was right all along. Sorry, dude. Crack runs over to me. Are you okay? And yeah, I look up I'm into fine. his dreamy eyes. <laughs> Wait, let me do the dad thing for a second. Craig spends a moment examining my head. Oh. It's worse than I thought. Don't tell me you have to kiss it to make oh. it better. You would be so lucky. <laughs> Kissing is for the week. I mean... I feel like I've earned it at this point. Waiting all day to hang out with you. Well... Craig leans in and kisses my forehead. Oh my god. The baby is unamused. Walk it off, champ. Are the lights on this softball field really hot, or is that just me? <laughs> I get up and dust myself off. River yawns. We're boring her. Hey, little buddy. You must be getting tired, huh? You're tossing a softball, and I could totally hit your baby on it. Yeah, accident. I was thinking about that earlier. I was like, uh, I still think he's irresponsible. Hate to say it, but you should probably head out. Sorry things are so... You get older, and life just kind of gets in the way, huh? We start walking back to the parking lot. Hey, remember that one house party we went to that got broken up by a helicopter? Nice. How could I forget? You and me hopped over a concrete wall to get away. But the other side of the fence was a parking lot where a bunch of cops were parked. Oh, oh man, yeah. Could you imagine the look on our faces? We just walked straight past them like we were out for a stroll. And not knowing that we were at the party, they started joking with us about a big bust it was. We had to talk with them for 30 minutes. He told them you were interested in joining the academy. And then they started giving me pointers for the exam. Longest 30 minutes of my life. Man, college. Good old days, right? We get back to our cars. Craig pulls me into a hug. Or at least as much as we can manage with a baby between us. Never enough time, huh? Guess not. Oh. Let me make it up to you. Let's hang out soon, yeah? I'd like that. He kissed me. <laughs> I don't care if it was on the forehead. He kissed me. Glue stick in her hand. Oh shit. Burn in the middle at art oil. Figured I might do something productive between episodes of Shark Hunter lip sync battles. Oh Good my God. lord. The cheesy TV shows they come up with. I love it. Do the sharks lip sync or do the shark hunters lip sync? Hmm. Yes. <laughs> I look over her shoulder at the claws. Amanda, this is some good art. Look at this good art you made. Thanks. I'm just about done. That's some good art. Art right is before, good. before, it's still a lot of dogs. In one corner is a giant pile of cash. In the other, it's... Amanda, is that me? Hmm. Yep. The whole thing is about my goals for the future, and those are basically just to sit on a giant pile of money with my 20 dogs and also have a strong and mutually supportive relationship with my father into adulthood. You are right there? You ran out of some hair. It's a run-on sentence! They have some bad grammar. <laughs> Get ready to watch your dad cry. Here it comes. I'm ha it's oh, happening. No. Oh, dad. You did this with your good art. <laughs> she pats me on the back. Mm -hmm. Hey, how was your hang with Craig? I wipe a tear from my eye. It was good. That Craig guy sure is busy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude. The soft bar life isn't for quitters. Also, I'm very proud of you for facing your fears today. How does it feel? I'm on top of the world, pops. I should start facing my fears more often. Oh, yeah? How about tomorrow we hit some empty parking lots and practice, dare I say, parallel parking. Oh, God. Huh. Baby steps, Dad. I'll work my way up to it. <laughs> All right, I'm going hit to hit the hay. You're going to hit up the hay? <laughs> Come on, <man. laughs> I'll let them know you said hay. How did I do? Uh, A. Bro. Bro. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. S-Rank. <laughs> I wonder if you uh, all the points you're collecting are used to purchase things. For, I don't know. Like mini games or whatnot, so you can get practice in or something. Mm. Welcome. You got that. All right. Next time, another dad, huh? I only have one left. So, next time, another dad. All right.